and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You can see from the title, this is going to be a salon tour. I've had my own dog grooming salon for almost two years now. I think it'll be two years in September. So it's coming up close. I live in a commercial premises, so no problems with working there. It's also a house, so no problems living here. Best of both worlds. Don't have to pay too lots of rent on a house and a shop. It's great. I'll probably continue to do it for a while. But anyway, let's get to the video. So when you first walk into my salon, this is what you'll see. I've got my dog grooming ribbons on display up here. I've also got some small breed tennis balls. They're really small. They fit in the mouth of small dogs because regular tennis balls don't. They sell like hotcakes. Um, I've also got some branded treats here. I actually haven't been leaving them out at the moment because I need some gold coins for change. I don't have any gold coins change at the moment. Over here, I've got some retail size bottles of the shampoo I use. I use Pro Groom Shampoo. It's a great product for a great price, works awesome, smells great, all that good stuff. Personally, my favorite is this one, the orange scented one, but all my customers seem to like this one, so I have both. <laughs> also got some flea shampoo just because. And this whole cabinet was actually something that I upcycled. I'm pretty excited. I'll put before photos if I still have them. This awesome little window thing that my carpenter brother cut into the wall for me. He's got his own business. I'm so lucky. <laughs> uh, I've got my business cards here. I actually need a refill. I've only got one left. I've also got these chains up just here. Doesn't stop the dogs from going under that though. So I'm hoping to replace these with wooden fences, like short wooden fences. So after we have the reception area, I'm gonna move on to the salon. I've got these awesome crates. I bought them when my previous place of employment was closing down, so I got a really good deal for them. Two big crates, I've also got one underneath there. I'll get to that in a second. This is where my towels are. Normally there's way more, but today is Sunday. It's the end of a busy work week, so I'm inundated with laundry at the moment. Dirty towels go in here. And this is the shampoo that I use. I buy big five liter bottles. Normally I have three running low. This one's almost empty. This one's full, so I'm gonna have to get some more of that. Here is my whiteboard where I write up the dogs for the day. I really like having a visual representation of the dogs that I'm going to be doing for that day. Over here, we've got my amazing bathtub. I bought it from Pup Kiss. It is a hydraulic bath, so excuse my gross bare feet, but it go up. <gasps> very very slowly it go up and also it go down very very slowly and oh also one of the coolest things about this bath I keep looking at myself in my camera instead of at the camera I'll get used to it this comes out so you can do big dogs in the bath how great is that also I can't put that back one-handed so we'll just leave that for now it's fine so over here Got my dryer, love it, great, wall mounted, out of the way, sorted, don't love that it's green, doesn't match the colour scheme whatsoever, disregard, it's fine, only comes in green and pink. Anyway, up here I've got all my blades, the camera's backwards because I'm using the front camera so you can't see the numbers properly but uh, they're all sorted by size, good stuff. Here is my view, this is my backyard, all of this is, I think it's a watermelon or a pumpkin, I don't know, it's some kind of melon. Back here we have my, again, a hydraulic table. Don't mind all the cables, I know they're ugly. But hydraulic tables, again, a really big thing that's gonna save your back. Because dog grooming, not all dogs are the same size. Sometimes you're grooming huge dogs, sometimes you're grooming really small dogs. It's awesome to have a table that will go up and down so you don't kill your back. Look at this thing. You can't see where it's going. There's no context for this shot, but very slowly it's going up and down. It's also very noisy, but so in closing about the table, it's electric, not hydraulic, because I think I said hydraulic earlier. Same as the bath, it's electric, not hydraulic. It doesn't matter which one you get, as long as it goes up and down. This cable is not supposed to be this crazy, ridiculously long, but the, I broke the cable and the Sparky replaced it with the only extension cord I had available, which was a really big one. So that's all right, I guess, better than having one that doesn't work. Disregard my iPad with all my notes about what to talk about. Get out of here, we don't need preparation. This is my side of the desk. I got this desk from Ikea when my old one broke. I use Square as my point of sale, it's great. Just does the job that I needed to do. I've set it up so that I've got 
all the amounts because I charge in $5 increments. So that's easy. I uh, used to have the Square machine, you know, sitting up here or wherever, where customers could just tap their card. It was integrated with Square, but I don't use that anymore because it got a little bit too annoying to wait for the payment to come through. So now I use a deposit machine from my bank. It's a little bit expensive, like it's more expensive than having the square, but it's more convenient for me. It's more convenient for my customers, so I don't mind. Oh, also, this keyboard, cord free. Oh, I'm obsessed with cord free. Everything I want has to be cable free. I bought a cable free vacuum yesterday and it's the best purchase of my life. Anyway, here is my tool thing, caddy. I don't know what it's called. Epiotic is an ear cleaner. I've got some clipper oil and I've got some styptic powder. I've got my scissors here. These are my curves. You can see they're curvy scissors. Again, I got these from Pupkiss. Are they branded? They are. So in here, I've got my tools. Uh, this is not really the stuff that I use every day. I really only use this, this, and these every day. Everything else, I don't use it every day. Down here, I've got some muzzles and some garbage bags. Down here, I've got some PPE. Um, and a roll of toilet paper because, you know, sometimes dogs make messes. And down here, disinfectant wipes. I'm obsessed. Oh my God. Extra cotton wool. And I've also got some happy hoodies. These go over the dog's head if they've got oral hematomas or they might be getting oral hematomas. It's really good to have something to strap their ears to their head so that doesn't cause any issues. And down here, I've got my drawer of things that need to be sharpened or sent off for servicing. Is my work phone i have two phones a personal phone and a work phone and then i have under here my covered in here wireless earphones again i hate wires i hate cords i spend nearly every day listening to youtube or netflix or music or something in my headphones it's just nice to have some background noise i find that i'm more productive that way anyway i think that's it for the salon tour so that was the video i hope you liked it as usual, if you have any questions or comments, don't contact the business. Contact me through the YouTube comments or on my Instagram. Um, otherwise, have a great day.